How to Recognize a Covert Narcissist What is a covert narcissist? A covert narcissist is someone who really wants to be admired and feel important, but they don't really understand or care about other people's feelings. Unlike an overt narcissist who openly shows off their self-centered traits, a covert narcissist hides them better. Even though they might seem less noticeable, covert narcissism can be just as harmful as the more obvious kind. Typical narcissistic traits include thinking highly of themselves, daydreaming about being famous or important, bragging about their abilities, seeking admiration, taking advantage of others, and not really understanding or caring about how others feel. In psychology, we talk about behaviors being either overt or covert. Overt behaviors are easy to see because they're obvious, like the behaviors of the typical narcissist we talked about before. Covert behaviors, on the other hand, are a bit sneakier and not as easy for others to notice. When thinking about narcissists, it can be difficult to picture them as reserved or restrained in their actions. However, a covert narcissist may seem modest or shy on the surface, yet their ultimate objectives are still the same. So, what causes covert narcissism? The specific reasons behind covert narcissism aren't completely clear, but several factors seem to play a role. Experts believe that narcissistic personality disorder may be connected to 1. Genetics your genes might influence the development of narcissistic traits. 2. Childhood abuse and trauma. Experiencing abuse or trauma during childhood could contribute to the development of covert narcissism. 3. Upbringing and relationships with caregivers. The way you were raised and your relationships with caregivers may influence the development of narcissistic tendencies. And 4 personality and temperament. Your natural personality and temperament could also be factors in the development of covert narcissism. A study discovered that individuals with narcissistic personality disorder often grew up with parents who placed a high emphasis on status and achievements. This focus on superiority over others during childhood might lead to a persistent belief in adulthood that they are special and more valuable than others. So, what triggers a covert narcissist? It's not always clear why people with narcissistic tendencies sometimes act in subtle ways rather than openly. Some situations that might make someone with covert narcissism behave this way include 1. Feeling ignored 2. Perceiving disrespect. 3. Facing threats to their self-esteem. 4. Experiencing shame. 5. Being around people with high social status. 6. Feeling less attractive or educated than others. 7. Having fewer resources than others. 8. Not receiving what they believe is deserved attention. 9. Dealing with jealousy. And 10 experiencing a lack of control. So, let's quickly do a recap. Covert narcissism involves the same behaviors as overt narcissism, but it's expressed in less noticeable and subtler ways. While the exact reasons for this behavior are not fully understood, it's believed that genetics and early relationships might contribute to its development. Let's compare overt with covert narcissists. Covert narcissists are essentially introverted narcissists, differing from the more obvious overt narcissists, mainly in their inclination toward introversion. Overt narcissists are easily noticeable due to their loud, arrogant, and insensitive behavior, always seeking compliments and dominating a room. The behaviors of overt narcissists are evident and typically stand out prominently. They exhibit extroverted traits in their interactions with others. However, researchers argue that labeling them as covert can be misleading. It's emphasized that this term might wrongly imply sneakiness or less significance compared to overt narcissists. The traits of both overt and covert narcissists are essentially the same,
debunking the notion that covert narcissists are less impactful or devious in their pursuit of importance compared to their extroverted counterparts. People with overt and covert narcissistic traits tend to see themselves as highly important and often daydream about achieving success and greatness. Now, do covert narcissists understand the impact of their actions? While they might recognize on some level that their behavior negatively affects others, narcissists often lack self-awareness. Due to their belief that they deserve the attention and praise they seek, they may not see anything wrong with their actions as long as they get the results they want. Whether someone is an extroverted overt narcissist or an introverted covert narcissist, they must meet the same clinical criteria to be diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. Both types also struggle with regulating their self-esteem. Identifying covert narcissists early in a relationship can be tricky. Often, people only realize they've been manipulated by a covert narcissist once they're already feeling emotionally hurt. It's easier to notice extroverted, overt narcissists compared to introverted, covert ones. Covert narcissists can cause emotional pain in relationships because they may make it feel like there's a lack of teamwork or mutual give and take. So, what are the signs of a covert narcissist? How do you spot a narcissist? While there are specific clinical criteria for diagnosing narcissistic personality disorder, you can also identify general traits in everyday interactions to detect a covert narcissist. Signs may include a lack of empathy and a disregard for others. Besides recognizing the obvious signs of narcissism, it's crucial to be aware of the subtler behaviors of covert narcissists. Understanding these traits can empower you to identify and navigate potentially unhealthy relationships and interactions more effectively. Sign number one is passive self-importance. In simpler terms, there are two types of narcissists, overt and covert. The overt one is easy to spot because they openly show off their high opinion of themselves and act arrogantly. On the other hand, the covert narcissist is more subtle. Even though the covert narcissist also craves attention and admiration, they go about it in a less obvious way. They might give compliments that have a hidden insult or downplay their achievements so that others will reassure them of their worth. Both types of narcissists, whether overt or covert, actually have a fragile sense of self. The overt one demands attention and admiration directly, while the covert one uses gentler methods to achieve the same goals. The covert narcissist constantly seeks reassurance about their talents and accomplishments, wanting others to confirm their sense of importance. Sign number two is blaming and shaming. Shaming is a behavior that narcissistic individuals might use to make themselves feel superior to others. There are two main types of narcissists, the overt, extroverted ones, and the covert, introverted ones. The overt narcissist is more upfront and obvious in their attempts to gain an upper hand. They may openly put you down, be rude, criticize you, or use sarcasm. On the other hand, the covert narcissist takes a subtler approach. They might gently blame you for something, making it seem like it's your fault and not theirs. They may even play the victim or use emotional manipulation to make you feel guilty. Their ultimate goal, whether overt or covert, is to make you feel small and boost their own ego. Sign number three is creating confusion. While not all covert narcissists are sneaky, some find satisfaction in causing confusion. They may not directly blame or shame others, but instead, they enjoy making people doubt their own thoughts and instincts. This behavior serves as a way for them to gain an advantage over others. Covert narcissists rely on tactics like these to boost themselves and retain control in their interactions. If they can make you doubt your own perceptions, it opens the door for them to manipulate and take advantage of you. 
Sign number four is procrastination and disregard. Covert narcissists are individuals who crave attention and importance, but go about it in a subtle way. Unlike extroverted narcissists who might openly push you aside, covert narcissists excel at not acknowledging you at all. Their main focus is on themselves, and they will do whatever it takes to keep that focus intact. It's not a coincidence that narcissists, in general, are drawn to caring and compassionate people. Covert narcissists see these qualities as opportunities for manipulation. They have no issue making you feel unimportant. Instead of outright saying you're not important, covert narcissists may employ indirect tactics. This could involve standing you up on a date, responding to your messages at the last minute, consistently being late or never committing to plans. They show no consideration for your time or interests, leaving you with a sense of insignificance and irrelevance. Sign number five is giving with a goal. Generally, narcissists aren't generous. They struggle to invest time or effort in anything that doesn't benefit them. A covert narcissist may seem like they're giving, but their actions are always aimed at gaining something in return. For instance, imagine tipping at a coffee shop. A covert narcissist is likely to drop a tip in the jar when the barista is watching, hoping to spark an interaction that leads to them being praised for their generosity. The focus of their giving is always more about themselves and less about the recipients. And finally, sign number six is emotional neglect. Narcissists, especially the covert type, struggle to form and nurture emotional connections with others. Even though they may seem nicer and less annoying than extroverted narcissists, they still lack emotional accessibility and responsiveness. Getting compliments from a covert narcissist is rare because they are always focused on elevating themselves to maintain their self-importance. They often fail to appreciate your talents or abilities. In a relationship with a covert narcissist, you'll likely find yourself doing most of the emotional heavy lifting. Despite appearing emotionally accessible, it's usually a facade meant to manipulate or eventually make you feel small through disregard, blaming, or shaming. A key trait of narcissistic personality disorder is a lack of empathy, and this is evident in how covert narcissists struggle to respond to their partner's emotions in a healthy way. To sum it up, Covert narcissists often display passive-aggressive behavior, disregard others, exaggerate their own importance, and neglect the feelings and needs of those around them. Furthermore, what are some common phrases used by covert narcissists? Comments you might hear from a covert narcissist include, I'm too good for this. I shouldn't have to put up with these people. I deserve all the good things that life has to offer. It's not fair that others have it better than me. I deserve more because I am better than them. People don't really appreciate how special I am. I can't believe you did that. Don't do it again. You should feel ashamed. Remember when I helped you a few years ago? You owe me a favor. I'm the best you'll ever have. You won't find anyone else like me. No one else would give you the time of day. You should be grateful I stick around and... I was just joking. I can't believe you took that seriously. Let's look at some examples of covert narcissist behavior. To recognize a covert narcissist, pay attention to how narcissistic behaviors show up in various situations. In a work setting, signs of covert narcissism might include 1. Acting superior and condescending towards colleagues. 2. Projecting a public image that contrasts sharply with their private behavior. 3. Making unreasonable requests from co-workers and subordinates. 4. Belittling and blaming others for mistakes. 5. Engaging in workplace gossip about colleagues. And 6. Displaying anger openly and then denying it afterward. So, what do covert narcissists do in relationships? In different types of relationships, like with partners, parents, siblings, or other family members, covert narcissists might. 
1. Show a lack of understanding or concern for others' feelings, thoughts, and needs. 2. Control others by making them feel guilty or ashamed. 3. Assume others should take care of them or solve their problems. 4. Engage in gaslighting, being critical under the guise of being concerned. 5. Exploit the vulnerabilities of others. 6. Disregard or deny the feelings, emotions, or experiences of others. And 7. React to others with passive-aggressive behaviors. So, how should you deal with a covert narcissist? You might be dealing with a covert narcissist in your personal life, like a family member, co-worker, or partner. While you can't change their behavior, you do have control over your own actions and interactions. There are steps you can take to safeguard yourself from the harmful effects of covert narcissistic behavior. Step number one is to avoid taking it personally. When you're dealing with a narcissist, whether they're overt or covert, their manipulative actions can feel really personal. It might seem like they don't care, act entitled, use tricky tactics, and deceive you, making it all feel like it's about you. But it's crucial to realize that their hurtful actions are not about you. A narcissist behaves badly because of issues within themselves, not because there's something wrong with you. Even though their behavior may be hurtful, don't take it personally. When dealing with a narcissist, it's okay to examine your role in the situation, but it's crucial to recognize that their actions are their responsibility. Narcissists want you to feel personally attacked because it gives them power. Keep in mind that their need to make themselves look important comes from their own feelings of inadequacy. Step number two is to set boundaries. Narcissists struggle with maintaining healthy boundaries. This is because covert narcissists lack empathy, feel entitled, and exploit others. Boundaries become obstacles to their goals. The more you practice setting boundaries with a narcissist, the clearer it becomes that their manipulative tactics are ineffective. Establishing boundaries, especially with a narcissist, can be challenging. Remember, boundaries are a way to communicate your values, identify what matters to you, define your values, and create boundaries that align with them. Understanding the reasons behind specific boundaries gives you confidence in enforcing them. It also helps you stay on track if someone tries to violate or ignore your boundaries. Step number three is to advocate for yourself. When dealing with a covert narcissist, it's easy to feel like you're losing your ability to express yourself. Their manipulative behavior can make it difficult for you to realize that you're not standing up for yourself. Take a moment to reconnect with who you are and what matters to you. Reflect on your values, goals, and talents. Strengthening your connection with yourself is crucial for confidently asserting yourself when dealing with a narcissist. When you advocate for yourself, you allow the narcissist to see a side of you that understands their manipulative tactics. This awareness makes it less appealing for them to continue using those tactics with you. And step number four is to create a healthy distance. Being in a relationship with a covert narcissist can be tough and overwhelming. It's especially challenging when the person is a family member or co-worker, making it hard to create some space. If someone's narcissistic behavior is causing you harm, it might be necessary to limit your interactions with them. You can try changing your workspace, taking breaks at different times, or even cutting off contact. The idea is not to hurt the other person, but to protect yourself and give yourself the space you need to heal. So, when should you seek help? If you notice someone you know displaying signs of covert narcissism that are causing problems or impacting your life, suggest that they talk to a healthcare professional. A doctor or therapist can suggest treatments to address these symptoms and enhance their ability to deal with the challenges. If you're in a relationship with someone showing narcissistic behavior, you can find helpful information and resources at the Narcissist Abuse Support Organization. 
check out their website for support and guidance. So, in summary, hidden narcissism might not be as obvious as the more overt kind, but it can still be just as damaging. If you have someone in your life who shows signs of covert narcissism, it's important to take care of yourself emotionally. Learn to spot the signs. Don't let their actions affect you personally and consider creating some distance to set clear boundaries. Talking to a therapist about your experiences could also be beneficial. A mental health professional can provide insights into the behavior and offer coping strategies to help you navigate the situation. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch more videos by clicking on this video right over here.